The Green Group in the European Parliament ran a consultation process on ACTA. It is 50 reasons to reject ACTA, ranging from industrial and trade policy to democratic scrutiny. In the same time, the parliamentarian process is in the hot face. We already had four committees rejecting ACTA. It would give private companies the role of police, judge and jury, and that's simply not acceptable. And it would also tie the hands of the parliament. We need to reform copyright, and we need that urgently. That's done in the Legal Affairs Committee jury, but with the ACTA agreement, we would no, no longer have that right. So saying no to ACTA is a very good thing. ACTA cares about business, not about people. If an internet provider wants to see whether you and I are downloading something we're not allowed to, they have to look in every client, they have to store data about you and me. But I'm a citizen, I'm not a suspect, and therefore that's injustice. That's why I'm against ACTA. You are almost three million citizens who have said no ACTA. I'm fighting for your voice to be heard by the Committee on Petition, because ACTA imposes stronger restrictions on the sea trade and biodiversity. ACTA is a danger for freedom of expression. We cannot accept this. So let's stop ACTA together now. ACTA would seriously hamper the access to affordable generic medicine, especially in developing countries, because it puts restrictions on trademark regulation. That would actually mean that cheap generic medicine that is good for people who need it uh, would be stopped at borders just because their trademark looks similar to already existing trademarks. So we say stop ACTA in order to keep access to affordable generic medicine. All this leads to putting you at a disadvantage. The European Parliament should reject the ACTA agreement because it bundles too many different interests together, creating a one-size-fits-all instrument to deal with many separate topics in industries. On top of that, that it pushes so much power onto private actors in the field of intellectual property rights enforcement risks damaging our fundamental rights. So now you have plenty of reasons why the European Parliament should vote no on ACTA beginning of July in its plenary session and before we will have a vote in the competent intercommittee on the 21st of June and we hope that we'll get a majority to vote no. So therefore we need your support on the global anti-ACTA day on the 9th of June where you should show your politicians why we are against ACTA.